Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Annabelle and I make videos about my lifestyle as a minimalist, specifically around the areas of travel and packing. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what I'm packing just for an overnight stay in Miami. So we're just going on Saturday, we're having some a dinner with some friends and they've invited us to stay over and then we're gonna just do some stuff in Miami on Sunday. So, I'm just going to go into quickly why I have this Targus and um, for those of you that have watched my previous video um, when I was in Naples I actually bought a new 13 inch laptop Kankin and since that trip in fact the day after that trip I returned it and the reason being is because I just I think I had this envision in my mind that a smaller bag was going to be more comfortable for me given the fact that I'm five foot three but I found that all the weight was concentrated in a smaller place and even though my bag wasn't heavy in terms of weight distribution it was just really uncomfortable and I didn't even use it on my back I literally carried it using the top handles into and out of the car and that's it really um, so I think it's no surprise that the Kankan laptop backpacks or backpacks in general in terms of straps they are not the most comfortable so I personally in terms of the 15 inch I had no problems using it for three weeks in Southeast Asia I didn't get too much shoulder strain or anything like that because I don't think my things were particularly heavy but in terms of my husband and now this is why the Targus comes in so my husband has the exact same one in black the 15 inch laptop in black and actually in Asia after the trip I did feel some shoulder pain so on the way home from Naples he actually mentioned that he missed his Targus backpack so he has a Targus backpack in the style groove in the 16 inch um, I think that if it's a 16 inch laptop I'll put an image of it for you guys so he's had that backpack for almost 20 years he's used it all through school and all other sorts of travel and we recently replaced it for him because all the seams were frayed and the zippers for one of the pockets wasn't smooth and it was just very battered looking. So upon finding his new replacement, which is the exact same style that he's had before, I found this classic commuter backpack on Amazon. So the reason why I picked this backpack is because, well, first of all, all their backpacks have these ergonomic shoulder straps and honestly the difference is night and day in terms of these straps and these straps i've actually filled it up with stuff and used it on my back and it's just so much more comfortable than the kankin and the kankin i wouldn't say is uncomfortable but this is much more comfortable so that's why i'm putting a pause on using this for now and this is the only kankin that i have now because the classic one i did give away so I'm just gonna put this to the side. So focusing purely on this backpack, the Targus brand, my husband actually loves this brand a lot and I never really have heard of it before, but I love that they're pretty inexpensive. So this one in particular was $29.99 and I think the style is actually discontinued because on their main website, they don't have this. I think they have a more updated version and this is maybe the older version of the classic commuter but yes this was only 29.99 and then taxes on top and basically i got it off amazon so the good thing about the dimensions is that it fits within most budget airlines so the length is 18 inches and the width is 12.5 and the depth is only 5.5 inches so it's actually a really slim bag in terms of capacity is 19.5 liters which is more than the 15 inch laptop kankin that's 18 liters and it weighs under a pound it's honestly so light and it's also water resistant which is helpful so anyways i'm going to go through the pockets and what it has so what i like most about this is that there is a little front pocket which is great but then this bigger pocket is also here too. So the thing about the Kankin is that the Kankin has this little pocket towards the bottom that sort of floats like this. So when you put things in it, it kind of bulges out. And I think what I prefer about this is that it's just longer and it goes down to the bottom of the bag. So you can just put things in 
and it doesn't create such a big bulge at the front. And then of course, easy access stuff at the front here is wires or whatever. So that's why I like that too. And also what I liked as well is the big main compartment. Now this doesn't have a separate laptop pocket. It has one that's built inside the main uh, compartment, which I think it should be fine um, because I think in fact, I tried it already, but my lap, my iPad actually fits in here. So I'll just put it in a case and I'll just pop it in here if I need to have easy access to it for security. But yes, it does have a pocket, big pocket, and then it just goes down at the very bottom like so. And then it just opens out like that. Now, this isn't clamshell because it has these water side water bottle side pockets and these actually can fit a water bottle in there very comfortably comfortably and it has it on both sides and i think i love that and so it kind of opens halfway which is actually okay so you know i don't i don't hate that but i don't love that but it's better than just being sort of about here and then you can only just see it like that so this this is okay for me i think i think i can work with that and then the back here, um, it has a luggage strap if you need one. I kind of wish there was a sort of secret pocket here. Some of these backpacks kind of have that, but this doesn't. And then you've got these really thick shoulder straps, which are super comfortable. And they just adjusted like so at the bottom here, which is fine. So yeah, uh, that is the backpack. And I also like the fact that it's black and it's very... Um, plain <laughs> I know I'm not I'm not scared of colors at all but I feel like black is more me and you know the style and everything without all these logos and whatever I feel like this is just a bit more me to be honest but anyways I'm gonna go and show you now what I'm packing for the trip okay so this is everything I'm packing for the trip, just all together in one go, because I'm just going to go through everything. Since it's just an overnight stay, I don't anticipate there to be much more than this. In fact, I think this is it. So I'm just going to go straight into clothing and then just work my way across. So I've got my slippers for when we go to our friend's place. Then I've got my outfit for dinner and I'm actually going to be arriving in this outfit. So it's just a top and underwear and a skirt and then in terms of the shoes for dinner these are the sandals that I'll be wearing for dinner and then I'm also packing my Birkenstocks for the day on Sunday possibly at the beach if we if we go to the beach and just walking around just more comfortable than the other ones and then I've got two t-shirts just in case. I don't know why I got two t-shirts. I'm only having one day after. But at the moment, I just can't decide if I want the blue one or the stripy one. I'm probably just going to end up taking the stripy one. And then <laughs> and then I've got a lounge t-shirt and some shorts. They're just like sweat shorts. So I can wear them to the beach. I can also wear them around the apartment or for bed or whatever. So they have uh, a dual purpose. Then I have a bathing suit and then just an extra pair of underwear. And then this is just the packing cube, which is just the Amazon basics. And this is in the size small. So these clothes will go inside here and then that I'll be wearing. And then I'm also packing my Birkenstocks, like I said. And then over here, I've got my water bottle. I've got a toothbrush. I've got two protein bars. And then I've got my lip balm and my tissues and my wet wipes. So all of these things will actually go inside my purse, which I've got here. So I'm just gonna put them in as we go along. Okay, and then I've got car keys and my card holder. So I can put them all in there too. And then I've just got some feminine products, even though it's not that time of the month for me, it just bring it just in case I think it's out of a habit and then I've got my little first aid kit which I've now put inside a pouch so it's just got the usual things like Tylenol, melatonin, um, what else is in here, antihistamines, band-aids, I've got a nail file and my nose strips, I've got cotton rounds and no nail clipper this time because I don't think I need it with me, it's just an overnight stay so all of those fit quite nicely in this small pouch 
and then sunglasses and then my phone and then I have my phone charger that's what I'm bringing and then my comb and then in terms of liquids it's just simply toothpaste but we don't have any travel size toothpaste that's why I've got this big one here um, so toothpaste it's just one night I don't mind carrying it sunscreen I've got moisturizer and toner floss and face wash no makeup because I think I'll have a little bit of makeup at the dinner but then I don't really plan on wearing makeup on the Sunday and then also I didn't pack my multivitamins and my probiotics because I'm literally coming back the next day so I've put a reminder in my calendar to take to take them when I come home and then in terms of shampoo and conditioner so this one is different so those of you again for those of you who've watched my previous videos I had been using a brand called Ethic and as much as I initially loved Ethic, Ethic or Ethic my hair so my, a lot of things changed after Naples so after Naples I noticed that the texture of my hair was starting to get really dry, my ends got really brittle, I actually had a haircut about two weeks ago because of it, just a trim, and I noticed that with the shampoo that I was using and a lot of their products, they use an ingredient called sodium cocoa sulfate, so even though it was naturally derived, it's a natural ingredient, it's still had the same sort of drying effect as SLS. I did a lot of research on it and it may not affect everyone, but it definitely affected me. So I really went on a mission to find a brand that is sulfate free. So then I came across this brand, which I absolutely love. It's called Kitsch. I think it's pronounced Kitsch. And I've been using these products for two weeks now. And I still have some left. I actually cut it in half and um, I've been using, I put another half in there. So these are all the ingredients that are in there. It's literally one, two, three, four, five, five ingredients. And instead of using a product that's specifically for oily hair, I decided to go for sensitive and completely fragrance free. And this is no fragrance, no color. I mean, it's been so good for my scalp and my hair is not dry, but I'm not holding my breath yet because usually it'll take about four weeks to really figure out whether or not this is good for me or not. But two weeks in and so far so good. And I actually checked these products on an app called, I want to say it's called Yucca. It could be Yucca. It's the one that has a carrot. And basically it's, it's, it's pretty high. So in terms of how good it is. So I'll put an image of that on here as well. And so basically that is going to be packed in there like so. Okay, so I'm just going to pack everything together and put everything in their places and then I'll just show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to pack everything now and just starting with my Birkenstocks like always, I'm just going to put those in the bottom of the main compartment. Okay, so it just fits in nicely at the bottom there, no problem. And then I'm going to put my slippers in actually on top of them. So it's just sort of two pairs down there like so. And then I'm just gonna put my clothing bag on the top like that. So it actually fits quite nicely. There's still a lot of space at the top here. It is narrow. So I don't think the width is the same as the Kanken. I think it's less, but I actually like the fact that it's much slimmer. It just looks a bit more sleek. And I think it's because it's just wider and everything and a bit longer at the top here. So I've got that space at the top, but I don't really have anything I want to put in there. So I'm just going to zip that up and then everything else will go in the front pockets. So I've got my liquids, which are pretty flat. So I'm not really bringing that much and they can just be put all the way and they actually fit all at the bottom there. So there's a ton of space and then I can put my toothbrush and my hairbrush. In fact, I don't know how deep these go. Okay. Not that deep hairbrush. 
and in terms of the sort of first aid stuff I'd rather put them at the front here and then the feminine products can go at the front there as well and then the charger I guess can just sit inside one of these pockets and then this shampoo stuff I think they can just sit in there and then what I love is that water bottle easy fits in there easy and it's actually nice and you know it's not actually short so it fits in there very well and then I've got my bag and then that's it that's it for the weekend I actually do love the way that this looks it just looks so much more uh, sleek <laughs> And I actually love the fact that it's actually really slim as well. And it's super lightweight. I mean, it's only, it's only an overnight stay, so I hope it would be light. But anyways, that is the end of this packing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.